Graze forage is the cattle producer's lowest cost feed source. And when weeds get in the way, you need quick and reliable solutions to deal with the problem. Here's a look at ways you can improve your pastures, grow more grass, and maximize your profit potential. When we start to break down the economics of cattle production on pasture, uh, pasture is the cheapest source of energy that we have uh, for cattle production. Most estimates that you see from universities will say that uh, grazing an animal costs about 45 cents per head per day and that pales in comparison to the cost of, of stored feed for supporting that animal. So forages, they're the base of our operation. Uh, they're the key to our economic success. So any type of management that we implement that's going to improve that production, uh, whether that's weed control or fertility, uh, is going to help us save money at the end of the season. So when I'm talking to, with cattle producers, I always try to stress to them to have the mindset of a, of a row crop producer. Uh, when you ask a row crop producer questions like how many bushels do you produce per acre, what are your break-even prices per acre on a particular crop, or even what is the management required to maximize that production per acre, they can usually tell you. Uh, in the cattle industry, it's kind of hit and miss. Some producers can tell you what their pounds of beef produced per acre would be for a particular year or uh, you know, what is their break-even price, but not everyone thinks that way. A lot of producers, when they're looking at managing weeds in their pastures, they look at mowing as one of their first uh, lines of action. A lot of the economic data would indicate that one mowing uh, may cost as much or more than one application of herbicide. Now the, the big difference comes in is the length of control. When you apply good soil residual herbicide, you're holding out those weeds for several weeks, maybe even months. To be really effective in, in weed control with mowing, uh, you would have to mow very timely two to three times per year over a period of years before you exhausted some of these perennial weeds that we have in our pasture. So the simple choice is to go out with a good herbicide, a good residual herbicide, get control of those weeds, and, and save yourself the time and the money uh, to get those under control. When producers are, are looking at investing in their pastures this year for more productivity, and they're considering uh, making herbicide applications, uh, one thing that they can do is look at um, uh, treating that fertilizer with products such as Grazon Next and, and Chaparral. And this allows us to do a couple of things. One, uh, get that fertility out there and that weed control at the same time, which means that we're only paying for one pass across that pasture. Fertilized applications are made uh, a little earlier in the year, and so we're getting on those weeds a little quicker uh, to get control. So combining our uh, soil fertility improvements uh, in the field or in the pasture with our, uh, our herbicide applications has a huge benefit on the producer. So a piece of advice that I, I, I would give a lot of cattle producers, uh, especially after having uh, uh, a lot of environmental stress on our pastures, is to get out early uh, and, and to start to scout those pastures and, and look for what weeds are beginning to break. Cattle producers are they're not oblivious to the weed pressure that are in their pastures from year to year. It, usually the species don't change much, but getting out and making a decision early on on getting control of those weeds uh, is much cheaper than waiting to the last minute and, and making an application. As far as return on investment goes in those situations, the, the, the sooner that we can stop weeds from competing for, for precious pasture resources, the bigger the bang on, on production or the bigger the effect that that's going to have on production. So waiting later in the season when weeds are more mature and have already taken up a lot of resources, the return on investment uh, tends to go down. Pastures can become stressed from, from things like drought or overgrazing or in some case um, uh, insect pressure. And going into uh, the latter parts of the year and these pastures have become thin and there's a lot of bare soil in those areas, we have to start looking at what kind of effect it's going to have on production the following year. Uh, so when we are, uh, you know, in tune with what uh, uh, is going on in our pastures in terms of environmental stress, uh, it helps us make better choices the year after. So when you're looking for weed control options for your pastures, go to rangeandpasture.com and find your local Corteva territory manager for more answers.